Alright guys, this is a quick video to help you get through the notes that I left you. And you, sh you should be taking this down on the notes that are entitled Symbiosis Notes. Now of course the only way this is going to work is if you are quiet and you are listening and following along as I go. I'm going to try and keep this to like about 15 minutes so that you're not spending the whole time taking notes. So here we go. Okay, so symbiosis falls under the category of ecology. And side note, just like normal, you're only writing down what you see highlighted in yellow. So that should correspond with the blank places in your notes. So again, symbiosis falls under ecology. Ecology is the study of how organisms interact with their environment, like how they behave with each other and how they behave where they live. So we can think of it as ecology being a study of relationships, relationships between different kinds of organisms with each other and then relationships with those organisms and where they live, the environment in which they live. Okay, so the environment is made up of two sets of things, what we call biotic factors and abiotic factors. Your biotic factors are going to be everything that's actually alive. So if you look at the picture, it'll be like the squirrel and the bear and like the deer and the trees. All of those things would be biotic. Abiotic factors is everything that's not alive. So the actual ground, like rock, uh, wind, light, sun, all of those things would not be a living. So again, biotic is living and abiotic is non-living. Excuse me. So what is symbiosis? Symbiosis is how two species live together. So sim means same and bio means life, so same life. How two species share their lives together. If you look at the picture, here's a picture of a fish and a fish mite. Right, so this fish and this fish mite live together. Like you can see that the mite's on the fish. So this would be an example of symbiosis. Now, there are four kinds of symbiosis, commensalism, parasitism, mutualism, and predation. So now we're going to go through and talk about each kind, and I'll give you examples about each kind. Okay, so the first one is called commensalism. Commensalism is what happens when one species benefits from the relationship, and the other species is like indifferent. It's not harmed, it's not helped, it's just, it's just like normal, it just exists. So I want you to look at this picture right here. This is a picture of an orchid, and this orchid is living between the branches of a tree. So this is one branch and here's the other branch. Now the orchid isn't taking anything away from the tree, it's not feeding on the tree, it's just using the tree so that it can get closer to sunlight. So this would be an example of commensalism. The orchid benefits, and the tree is just there. It's not harmed, it's not helped. Okay, here's another one. This is a dragonfly right here. And these tiny little red dots in its wings are called mites. So these mites can't really get around very well, so they hop on the back of the dragonfly, and the dragonfly flies and takes them from one place to another. So again, this is commensalism. The mites get around, the dragonfly is just there. He's like kind of like a taxi. Okay, and then here's one more example of commensalism. These birds are vultures. These dog-like looking things are hyenas. And what they do is they eat the remains of dead animals. So like there's like a buffalo or something right here. Now, a lion probably killed this buffalo and ate what it could and left. And the hyena and the vultures are scavengers. They're just picking off whatever remains on the bones. They're not hurting the lion because the lion couldn't get these little small bits of flesh anyway, and they're not helping the lion, so it's commensalism. They benefit, and the lion is just whatever. No big deal. Okay, parasitism is what happens when one species does benefit, and that species is called the parasite, and the other one is harmed. The one that's harmed is called the host. And normally the parasites live on or inside of the host. So look at this picture. These are pictures of ticks. And they're a special kind of tick called a deer tick. They live on deer, like, you know, like Bambi. And they bite into the deer and they suck the deer's blood. So they're benefiting because they're getting food. The deer is being harmed because by losing so much blood, the deer can become really, really sick. And sometimes it might even die. 
Okay, here's another example of parasitism. Here's a fish, and this thing that's stuck onto it that kind of looks like an eel is actually called a lamprey. It's kind of like a leech. So it bites into the flesh of the fish, and it sucks the, fl the fish's blood. So the lamprey um, is benefiting because it's getting food, but this fish is going to get sick or may even die because the lamprey's taking its blood away from it. All right, and here's another one. Sorry that this is so weird. But again, this is parasitism. This is a picture of a tapeworm. And tapeworms are actually parasites of humans. So they get into our digestive system and they bite down into our into like our stomach or our intestines and then they just eat the food that we that we digested for them. So they take our food away from us, so that's how they benefit and we get sick and that's how we are harmed. So this is parasitism. Okay, mutualism. Mutualism is when both species benefit. They both get something good out of the relationship. So here's an example using a rhino. And then these birds that are on the rhino's back are called plover birds. And they pick ticks and fleas and other things off of the rhino. So that's how they benefit because they're getting a meal. And the rhino benefits because these birds are taking away things that would make him sick. So both of them are benefiting. They're both happy. Here's another mutualistic relationship that we've already talked about, and these are lichens. And if you remember when I taught, I taught you ecological succession, we talked about lichens. And it's a relationship between a fungus and an algae. And the, the algae does photosynthesis, so it's going to make food, but it makes more food than it, can, than it can eat, so the fungus gets the extra food. The fungus benefits because it's getting free food. The algae benefits because it has a safe place to live. All right, so again, lichens, lichens. Okay, here's some other mutualistic relationships, like this is a bee and a flower, and like the bacteria that live inside of us that help us to digest our food. The bee helps the flower to pollinate, and the, the flower gets its pollen spread around by the bee. And then these are bean plants, like peas and bean plants. And inside of their roots live nitrogen-fixing bacteria. And I already taught you that plants need nitrogen to live, and nitrogen-fixing bacteria make nitrogen. So the plant benefits because it's getting free nitrogen, and the bacteria benefit because they have a safe place to live. Okay, the last kind of relationship is predation. And predation is what happens when one species specifically kills and eats another one for food. So in parasitism, sometimes the host dies, but the parasite isn't trying to kill its host. In predation, one organism is trying to kill the other organism. These lions are trying to kill and eat this water buffalo right here. All right, and then here's a snake and like a gazelle or something. So the snake again kills the animal and is going to eat it. So that's predation. Okay. On your worksheet or on your note sheet, sorry, you should have a table and your table will be blank. What I want you to do is to go through and put like a check mark or a dot wherever it applies. So just follow along with me. Now I'm going to switch colors and what I'm, what I'm going to do is color in these dots as I talk about them. So each dot represents one animal or one species. So in commensalism, no one's harmed. One species benefits, and the other one is neutral. It's not affected in any way. And that's commensalism. In parasitism, one species is harmed, and the other species benefits, and then no one's neutral. Give me one second. Let me make this dot a little bit bigger if I can. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Okay, I'm back, sorry. And so in parasitism, one's harmed, the other one benefits, that's it. In mutualism, both of them benefit. No one's harmed, no one's neutral, everyone's happy in this relationship. In predation, one species is harmed, and the other one benefits, and no one's neutral. So that's just a little table to help you remember how it goes. Okay. Now, this is a blank slide, and it goes with the pictures that I've shown on, on, your, um, on your worksheet, the ones with the smiley faces, and then the ones with the pluses and minuses and zeros. And these are just other ways that you may see symbiosis being represented. So I'm going to go through these with you. 
So look at that first picture. It shows one person who is like smiling, but he's smiling like almost evilly, like he's happy about something. And this other person does not look happy at all. So this would be, what? which one do you think? This one's going to be parasitism. So go ahead and write that down. Then in the next picture, we have two smiley faces. Everyone's happy in this one, so this is mutualism. And then in the fourth one, there's a smiley face, but it's actually showing some like pretty big teeth, like that. And then there's a smiley face that looks like it's been bitten, and they kind of look dead, to be honest. So this one is predation. And then the very last one shows a smiley face and then a guy who just doesn't look like he just doesn't seem to care. So this one is commensalism. All right. And those are some other ways that you might see symbiosis. Now, the other other way is, hold on, let me erase some of these by my erasing tool is just using a plus and a minus or a zero to represent benefit, doesn't benefit, or dies. So in the bottom ones where you have that plus and that minus and that zero, a plus whoops, represents benefits. A minus represents harms, or harmed, I should say. And a zero represents dead. All right, so there you go with your notes. Go ahead and do those two symbiosis sheets that I've left you, and then also get the ecology packet that I've left you done. And I'll see you when I get back. Bye.